world was going through a steel downturn at that time only tata steel india operation stood tall over many years because of the uh, backing that you got because of iron ore uh, captive now that particular mine is um, going for uh, a termination of that license in 2030 over the next few years first i wanted to understand will you look at uh, the given limit of iron ore sales uh, which is allowed by the government uh, uh, over and above what you consume in the group and second what is your strategy in also getting more captive mines for future after 2030 Sure. So, Nisha, I think this has uh, been a subject which has uh, been very strategic for Tata Steel. I think for most of the last 110 years, uh, people did not see the benefit uh, uh, that we had of having iron ore. People criticized us for being too far away from the consumer markets because till 2005, nobody really cared for iron ore. Iron ore was available for anyone to, uh, you know, get because. Uh, There was mines being allocated till 2005, and iron ore price was 20, 25 dollars. It's only in the last 15 years that the value of this iron ore is more visible. Uh, sure. The way we look at this, uh, 2030 will happen, but Tata Steel will continue to uh, be prepared for it. We'll participate in the iron ore auctions. We will uh, obviously be conscious of uh, uh, you know what price to bid because when you get these iron ore mines, you have to run it for 50 years. It's not something that so you need to look at the iron ore prices over the next 50 years rather than what will happen over the next 5 years so that's why we will be prudent when we bid but we think there'll be enough opportunities to bid for iron ore mines uh, over the next uh, 10 years because there'll be more and more mines coming up for auction and we'll certainly participate in those auctions and hopefully have uh, iron ore mines with us even as we reach 2030 uh, you know which will uh, see us through for the time beyond that even as we speak uh, we've also along with Tata Steel BSL got some iron ore mines along with the Usha Metals steel business we've got iron ore mines so the, and we've created we've set up this company called Tata Steel Mining which is basically going to be focused on both captive and merchant mining over the next few years we will certainly look at the opportunities the MMDR act is going to allow us uh, to sell iron ore beyond what we need for a captive use but just now the focus is on expanding to meet our captive requirements and uh, you know and if we have anything beyond that certainly we'll be happy to sell so you'll be happy to sell that's a separate line of business is what i wanted to understand yeah. pointedly yeah. is there Absolutely. any timeline if, uh, if no, no. when are you going to hmm. sorry so i think uh, you know our expansion so far were aligned with our captive requirements because there was no point expanding beyond what your captive requirement was because you would spend capital and not be able to earn any revenue from that right so yeah. and uh, a lot of the expansion was planned to be aligned to kalikanagar phase 2 but the bushan acquisition happened before that so over the last 2 3 years we were focused on feeding bushan which we are done yes. now the kalikanagar yes. expansion is happening so the next phase of expansion which is ongoing will support mm -hmm. the kalikanagar requirements uh, so i would i would think over the next few years we will start selling some iron ore because there are different grades of iron ore that are available some of which we mm. use some of which we may not be using so we will explore all those opportunities and we have tata steel mining as a separate company which can get into that space Uh, uh of commercial mining but of course if mm. these are captive mines then it will be sold through tata steel only